You want to feel secure in your relationship. And you should feel secure in your relationship. And you should be with somebody that wants you to feel secure in that relationship. So what do you do about this difficult situation? Well, watch this video all the way through to the end because we're gonna tell you exactly how to address this with your partner so that you can resolve it for the both of you. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can be a part of all the relationship resources that we put out each week. Also hit that bell so you get notified every Friday when we release our new videos. And as always, thank you for watching. Now I want to start by addressing the common statement that that's just how men are. That men are just that way. They just look at other women. It's just what they do. There is some truth in that. Studies have shown that men are more visually stimulated than women are. That men are more prone to physical attraction than women are. So that explains the wondering eye that men seem to have. In addition to that, I want to say that we live in a culture where men are encouraged to objectify women. And most men have been taught this by their fathers or other male role models in their life. And even if they had positive male role models when they were growing up, they've definitely been subjected to this kind of behavior by other men that they've been around or the other boys at school. So the encouragement for men to objectify women is a huge part of our culture and a huge part of our society. And I would say all men have had to struggle with this in one way or another. While there is some truth in that men are more prone to look at other women and in a way they're predisposed to that, that is never an excuse for hurting somebody that you're in a relationship with. And it's definitely not an excuse for any kind of infidelity. But I make this point to say, the first thing you need to do is understand that his tendency to look towards other women has nothing to do with you. It's not about you not being enough or that you should be doing more in some way. That tendency is about him. That's his own struggle. That's his own thing that he has to grow through. In working through this with your man in a relationship is understanding that he is attracted to the female form that he does have attraction to that, that when an attractive woman walks by, it's gonna catch his eye. You have to understand that. Now that doesn't mean that anything goes. It doesn't mean that you throw all rational agreements out the window, but it's just accepting that that part of him is there, that that part of him exists, that he is attracted to the female form. And of course he is, he's attracted to you. Accepting that this is going on for him does not mean that you compromise your own dignity or respect in any way, shape, or form. You should require a certain level of respect from him no matter what. And a man who deserves to be in a relationship with you will give you that respect. If you don't require a certain level of dignity and respect to be offered you in the relationship, he will actually not respect you. An extreme example of this is when women allow their men to sleep around with other women under the guise of it's just how men are, let him have his girls, it's okay. That is an extreme example of a woman not demanding a certain level of respect from her man. And therefore, he won't respect her and he won't respect the relationship because nothing is being held sacred. You being able to accept your man fully while still demanding that he honor you and honor the relationship will be incredibly sexy to the right kind of man. You're not asking him to get rid of his attractions. You're asking him to mature them. You're asking him to grow as an individual so that he can fully honor the relationship that the two of you have together two things become necessary. One, 
You have to be absolutely clear about the conduct, the way he is behaving that makes you uncomfortable and what requests you have of him. What is he doing that makes you uncomfortable and what are the requests you can make so that you'll feel secure in the relationship? Two, the relationship between him and you has to be so attractive to him that he is willing to work on himself and do what he needs to do to be able to honor you the way you want to be honored. We think that most men will be willing to make that shift when presented with a relationship that is worth it to them. To give you an example of some of the boundaries we've helped our clients create in their relationships. One would be no pornography. Another one is no liking provocative images on social media. One was that there would be no intimate meetings with a member of the opposite sex, or at least that the other partner would always be invited to those meetings. Another one was no obvious flirting, like be friendly with people, but don't openly flirt or be in a way with people that allows them to think that there would be a possibility there. So we've been able to work with clients to create these kinds of agreements in their relationship. They create some boundaries that they operate within that allow both partners to feel secure in the relationship. And while we're talking specifically about your man's conduct, these agreements apply to both people because they're relationship agreements. So don't judge him for having the attractions, but judge his willingness to work on them. Judge his willingness to adhere to the boundaries that you want to create in the relationship and work together with him to create those boundaries. An important point to make here is that you're not trying to make him feel guilty about his behavior and you're not trying to make him wrong for it. What you want to do is communicate to him that the way he has behaved in the past has made you feel unsafe. Certain things that he's said and that he's done in the past has made you feel unsafe in the relationship. And you're simply asking him to behave in a way that creates safety for you in the relationship that you have together. And as we've said earlier, if the relationship is attractive enough for him, to, if he gets that a relationship with you makes his life so much better, he'll be willing to do the work to honor you in the way that you are requesting to be honored. And this goes for anything in all relationships. If you want somebody to be the kind of person that's gonna give you what you're looking for in a relationship, you have to be someone who gives them so much in return in that relationship that of course they would want to honor you in that way. Of course they would want to mature their relationships with their attractions. Of course they would want to do all the things that provide for you in the way that you want to be provided for because you bring so much to their life that absolutely it's a no brainer. It's no question. Of course they would. So when you talk to him about this, what you're looking for is the willingness for him to give you what you're asking for. Does he have that willingness? Is he willing to work on it? And if he says he is, or if you see that willingness there, you also want to watch and see if he follows through with it. And if he commits to working on this with you, and if you see the actionable follow through, it's very likely that you have an incredible man that's going to do whatever it takes to have the relationship between the two of you work. So thanks again for watching. If there was something you found particularly helpful, leave it in the comments below. We'd love to hear about it. Or if you have a question, we'll respond to any questions. So please go ahead. If you have a question, leave that in the comments as well. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Remember to hit that bell. You'll get notified each week when we post our new videos. Thanks again for watching. We'll be right back here next Friday. Have a great week, everybody.